All right, so today I'm gonna to show you how to fix uh, a broken uh, gauge cluster on a first-gen Tacoma. So uh, what was happening with mine was the tachometer was not reading at all, the speedometer was not reading at all, and the odometer was not reading at all. So if you're having these symptoms, I'm gonna show you how to fix it. All right, so to do this, um, start by pulling the fuse panel off there. Um, and then there's, uh, you know, there's a Phillips in there. Uh, a 10 mil down there, 10 mil here, 10 mil there, and a 10 mil up there. And you're gonna pull all of those out. Okay, and then once you have all of those out, you just get the panel. It's gonna fall down violently. Um, and then here is your release for the, um, the hood. And so you need to get this disconnected and so you can push it around to the side there. Now, you can see from the other side, you put it down here and you push it out to the side. So, there's a okay, so once you get that other piece off, you got to take out uh, this screw right here with the Phillips. Okay, and in order to get the other side of this off, you've got to take all of this out, which is not fun. So, I'm removing the ashtray. Um, and then, if you still have the clips, there's a pop clip on each side. You pop those with the flathead or um, use a plastic pry tool. Just yank this whole thing. There's two clips just kind of pop out on their own. Okay, pull that out. Um, and I recommend you disconnect these. Pull it off to the side. Okay, and then now you have access to this screw right here. And so you're going to need to pull all these out. And then reach your finger on the side there. And pull the front cover off here. And the AC switch gets stuck. You just pull that right off. Pull that out. So now there's three Phillips you got to take out. You got to take out this one, which I've loosened partially. This one up here. Not the one that's straight back, but the one that's kind of diagonal. Gonna take that one out. All right, so once you get those three screws out, you can just pop this whole thing off. Okay, and it's gonna come out like this. And your AC vent piece might fall down there. Yeah, this guy. Because that normally sits up here, mine likes to fall down. Um, and you can disconnect these, or you can just leave them hanging for now. It's all you. Okay, so once you get that other piece off, you gotta take out uh, this screw right here with the Phillips. Okay, and then there's two more Phillips up there. So they're right here and take the other ones over there. You gotta take those out. All right, in order to get that one out, uh, looks like I forgot another thing. Gotta pop this off. So, should be a Phillips underneath here. Yeah, right there. All right, so you're gonna need to put the key in the ignition and turn it to two. All right. Let's turn it to AC. Okay, so turn it to two. And then you gotta hold the wheel over here and take out this screw. Okay, and then once you get that screw out, you gotta turn the wheel all the way over again. And then take the other screw out. Okay, so once you get both those screws out, the panel just pops right off the bottom. And then the panel on top will also just come right up. Just rip that right off. Um, you take your key back. Okay, so now you've got all of that. <laughs> and now this should finally be able to come off. Okay, you're gonna have to disconnect some things here so uh, disconnect the connector for the uh, hazard lights and then there's also uh, I've got the you know transmission so I've got clutch cancel here so disconnect that connector um, and then you should just be able to rip this whole piece out all right I'm taking this retroactively because I missed a step there's four screws that you have to take to get the gauge cluster out so one's like back this way through the piece it was kind of like a white scoop. So one, two, three, and four, they're all just Phillips screws. 
Um, forgot to record that part, but um, take those screws out now. Okay, so once you've got all those out, cluster will just come forward. And then there's a few connectors on the back you have to disconnect to get it all the way out. So you can probably see, yeah, you just, there's three connectors up at the top. You just take those out. All right, so now you've got your speedometer all out. Pull out of the car, so I'm gonna take it over to the bench and um, get to work on it. Okay. So then flip that on over. And on the odometer side, there's these two Phillips. Take out. Okay, so once you get that out, you have to take this connector out, and the way to do it is to take two flatheads. So I put one in this little hole right here, and then I cut the other one on this little notch here and pull that out. Okay. Okay, and then to get this piece off, to very gently pull on those three rings, and then this whole piece should come out. Okay, that's your number. You got two more Phillips, you've got this one right here and this one right here, take those out. All right, and so then there's these two little tabs on the back and you gotta very, very, very carefully take this board out by pulling on those tabs. All right, I have another correction. So I'm about to take this odometer apart um, in the video and there's a black cover, like a black border that goes around the cover. I didn't mention to take that off. You need to pop that off before you pop the screen out like I'm gonna do in the next step. Um, just need to make sure to do that. Okay. <laughs> so next to get this, you gotta get this screen out. And the way I did it was jamming this in here and turning it sideways to lift very, very carefully the screen off. And then the circuit board fell out. Okay, so on my odometer, this piece has a broken solder joint right under my finger. As you can't see it on the camera, but it's there. The other side is not broken yet, but it's broken. So I'm gonna resolder that joint. Okay, I've resoldered this side and hopefully not melted it. And then I also put some solder on the other side, right here, because that's the other joint. So this joint and the other side. I just had a great idea as soon as I'm done with the cluster, I should have put some hot glue on that so it doesn't pop off again but it's too late, so whatever. Okay, and then this just falls right back in. And then you put your screen back on. Okay, and then you're gonna put your two screws back in on the sides. Okay, and then you gotta put this thing back on. And it goes on like this in there. Okay, and then you put these three dots on there and plug your connector back in and put your two screws back there. All right, and then you're gonna put the cluster back on and plug those three connectors back in. The white one goes all the way on my left, the brown on the right. Okay, now we actually gotta test it. It's starting. Oh, perfect. All right, now we forgot to pull it all back together. Okay, so now the gauge is in and everything, we're gonna go ahead and reassemble. So there's the four screws, you need to put those four screws back in. One, two, three, four. I've already went ahead and, and done that. Um, and then after that, you come in with the big plastic piece. And to get this in, um, kind of got it. Play with it. Um, but there's so that you gotta watch the air vent on that side and on all these connectors to make sure that those don't get pinched or tucked away. Uh, there's a connector over here for your hazards and then this little clock connector. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and put that in. Okay, just a reminder, when you put this in, actually connect the connectors um, before they go on. So the one, two, three connector, and then you might have to reach from the back to get the air vent to connect, but you wanna make sure that this air vent connects when it all goes back together. Okay, so you're gonna need to turn your truck on for this part. So when you get these clamshell pieces back in, you put this in, put this one from the top, um, and then you're gonna to wanna to turn the wheel all the way over and you can see it exposes that piece. And then on the other side, you also want the same one where it kind of lines up with 
the white piece here so that those poles should line up. And then you take a piece from the bottom and when you put it in, oops, backwards. When you put it in, you're gonna wanna try and keep it straight so that those, the plastic here stays on um, when you put it on. And it stays straight. Okay, so then once you push it on, your seam here should be straight. And then you take the two uh, like round headed screws. So not the ones that's kind of like almost like a flange on them. So these two are the ones that go in the um, steering wheel and you put them in the side here and then you turn the wheel all the way over and do the same thing on the other side. And so once you have those two side screws in, there's one remaining in the bottom. You gotta put that one in. And this is just one of the regular flange screws or maybe one of the other ones. I don't know. This is just what came out of there. Whichever one came out, put it back in. All right, so now we're gonna get this piece back on. So make sure to connect up your clock if you have it or plug your dummy connection in. Um, and then it just goes right up in there and you just gotta watch the tabs at the top to make sure that they click in. Okay, so once that piece is in, now we can put back on um, this one. And if you took out any of these connectors, you gotta put them back. Um, they should only go one way. So to get this in, you need to also, make sure that you have your air vent. So this is really tricky. This one I think is broken on my truck. Um, it never quite sits right in there. Um, this is gonna be a little tough. Um, but I kind of just jam it in there as best I can. And then um, hope for the best when lining up these vents. Um, Cause they'll kind of sort of go back together nicely. Okay, so once you get it back together, um, you can kind of sneak your fingers in here and get these vents in, if that makes it easier for you, easier to line this up. Um, but yeah, so that'll press in, and then there's gonna be three screws, so that's gonna be the same in reverse, so the one up here, the one right there, and then the one uh, down here. So then when that's back on, um, just pop this piece right on like that, grab your AC switch, push it right in uh, and then your little dials go on they go kind of facing the opposite direction of the tab and then you've got your um, these just press right on so then you can just slide your ashtray right on um, and then you take this piece and this one you kind of connect it back up um, one thing I did forget to mention on the other one is, is my cigarette lighter is, I've got the connector disconnected right now, so you probably had to do that when you put that piece back on. Um, but yeah, you get these back together. And then that just presses right on. And then they've got the little pocket plastic clips. I go in the side here and here, uh, something like this. Okay, now I have to go back to do the screws that I forgot about. Um, so one screw up there, and then the one screw up there, and then there'll be another one down here. And these are just the standard uh, little screws. So now we can take the big base piece down here and hook up the cable around to the um, trunk release first. So it's tough doing this with one hand, but you want to get the cable on, the metal part of the cable on first, and then slide over the plastic. Okay, so once that's back on, you just pull, pull this down here, slot the cable in, and then slide it on. And then you can just take this whole thing and push it on. So when you push this piece on, there's these little kind of tabs that go up in there so you kind of got to push it up a little bit but yeah you'll push it all the way on and then um you've got these four screws so you've got the one two three and four and then the little screw goes here and then last but not least the little cover for the piece panel goes back on and you're all done